So getting access to data about your service can be quite tricky uh, because we don't tend to assume frontline staff actually want that sort of data. It tends to be management information. So of course there are the usual sources. You can go to your local information team and they will give you certain things. And that's a good thing to do. But also you can observe what's going on in your actual area and across the patient pathway. So observation and actual, you can talk to patients about how they're feeling and how their, their experience has gone. So that's another way of collecting information about what's going on. And finally, of course, you can ask other staff about what their experience is of what's going on in that process. So when you've got your data, you need to look at it in a way that's going to help you understand what's going on. We're talking here about flow across unscheduled care. And so that's a time-based measure. So the best way of looking at that data is to look at it over time. So you're plotting your data over time, over a considerable period of time often, to look at the patterns that might be there in your data across the year, across the week, across the day even, for certain areas. Now when you're looking at your data over time, you need to think about, well, how frequently do I look at it? And I think you need to think at least weekly. Monthly data tends to hide a lot of the interesting variation that happens. So weekly is the, most, is the least frequent, but actually looking at it by day is also helpful, for certainly for uh, areas like admissions. But in, when you're looking at uh, accidents and emergency departments, you might be looking at the hour of the day as well to look at what's going on there. So once you've got your data and it's telling you about the way that your system is performing, that gives you a diagnosis. But of course you can't want to stop there, you actually want to make things better. And that's where the model for improvement comes in. Once you understand what the problem is that you're trying to address, the model for improvement gives you that framework to say, okay, what's our aim? What are the measures we're going to use to track over time? And what are those changes that we're actually going to make? Now, frontline staff are obviously engaged with your patients and it's that engagement that needs to drive the other departments. As patients present, it's at that pace that we need to respond to them. If we don't respond to them at that pace, we get delays in the system and poor flow. So the support departments need to work at the pace of that patient pathway, not to their own internal timescales, which may make them more efficient within their own department, but actually causes problems in patient flow terms.